Hi, this is Bethany Reynolds. I've been busy uh, sewing masks for my community and I'd like to share with you a way to make a fabric slider to use on uh, t-shirt fabric ties to make it a little easier to adjust them. Uh, I know that you can do this with things like beads, but you may not have easy access to those, so this just uses fabric that you already have on hand. Now the t-shirt fabric tie, first of all, is just cut from a one inch strip of uh, t-shirt fabric. You can either cut up an old shirt or use fabric yardage that's a uh, knit fabric. Um, I've just done this to show you how the slider works. And this can be put on uh, during the mask construction if you're doing a mask and replacing a elastic ear loops with this, or you can put it on afterwards if you're using the tie type mask. So what I've done is cut a piece of, uh, piece of scrap fabric, two inches wide, and it wants to be at least five inches long, but it can be much longer than that if you're making a bunch of masks. And then I take and press that in half, so that it's one inch wide. Open it and press in the two edges again to the center and then press it over again so that I have a tie that is a half an inch wide. And then I top stitch down that close to the edge, just like so, to finish those edges off. And then I want to cut it into two and a quarter inch segments. That's the size that I found worked best for the t-shirt fabric that I was using. You might find um, if you experiment that maybe you want it a little tighter, a little looser, depending on the materials that you're using. So we want two of those for each mask, uh, one for each ear or for the back of the head and the, the top of the head. So I've cut a couple of those and I'm going to fold this now and stitch it with a quarter inch seam. We'll go up and down a couple of times. is something you could do chain stitching if you're doing a whole bunch of these at once. And we'll go and click in between. And now this is probably the trickiest part, it's just turning this little bugger right side out. We want to uh, crease it open like so to open up that seam and then turn it around so that that seam is on the inside. Once I get it turned, it might help to take a seamer for and just work it out a little bit there. It's not always this uncooperative. Of course, it's doing that because I'm filming. Okay, so I want to flatten out that seam and center it because I'm going to make two channels by stitching down in this, the uh, seam ditch there. away. Of course you do this on both of them. And then you want to take your uh, t-shirt fabric strip and put a small safety pin on one end of it just for feeding it through. So when you're ready to assemble everything you just pull that through and put the safety pin on the other strip pull it through the other way. So that's what you'll end up with. And it does hold pretty well, I find, so that once I get uh, my mask in position and, and hold that, uh, it holds up pretty well. If it starts to loosen, it's very easy to take one hand and adjust it again. You don't have to handle your mask too much to get it adjusted. Uh, there's one that I've got, and I uh, want to knot off the ends either separately or together so that your um, loops won't uh, pull off. So, And that's all there is to it. Thanks, and thanks for making masks.